Okay. Another game. By the way, while we're waiting here, I should have done this in the first video. We do have an all new. Nope, not that one. We do have an all new um, Facebook group for Connor's company or Creature Toolbox, Collective Company, Creature Toolbox, any of those types of decks, be it like Bant Nightfall or Kiki Cord or whatever. So join us here, facebook.com slash group slash Creature Toolbox, if you're interested in joining the discussion. Share your deck list, you know, we can share technology and, and whatever it may be that we're building these days. Um, so hop on there, you just have to get approved, but I approve anyone that, that looks legit. So just, uh, let me know you're interested and I will uh, enter you into the group. All right. Stuff. We've got stuff. we got to turn one play. That's always good news. Oh, I want the foil one. There we go. Sea Chrome Coast. Has it had nauseum to play Sea Chrome Coast? I wonder what, what we're up against here. I don't see that land a lot. Oh, there's a Druid. There's a lot of action on turn two. Lotus Bloom, it is Ad Nauseum. Okay, Ad Nauseum doesn't really play counter spell. All right, Pentad Prism, so he's tapped out. So that's pretty, windows open. There's a the Vizier. Sometimes it's just, it just happens like that. Um, though he does have spells where he just like, what, like Angel's Grace, he can't win the, or can't lose the game this turn. Or he might have Pactor, yeah, he does have Pactor Negation. Ooh, in which case I maybe should have I maybe should have left that ghost corner open. I wasn't expecting that. All right, um, one. Two and three. Corsair of Cruffix. This is not all that bad though, because now he's gonna have to sacrifice his Pentad Prism. Oh, he's, oh, he's gonna Angel's Grace next turn. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Um, all right, well. Might as well start attacking. <laughs> Does he have it? He's got four mana. Uh, Simeon Spirit Guide. Yep. Okay. So that's cool. We got rid of a Simeon Spirit Guide and a Pentad Prism with that that move. So um, not upset by any stretch. The trick to beating Ad Nauseam is just to keep them off their mana, be it their artifact producing mana or their uh, well, Lotus Bloom is also an artifact mana source. All right, there's a Duskwatch Recruiter. And there's a Vizier. All right, we'll just do it again. One, two, three. Unfortunately, though, I don't have an extra land. Oh, if I, but I could find one. All right, let's do this way. Oh, this would be beautiful. All right, land on top. Nope, ah, shit. <laughs> All right, well, that was, uh, that was pretty close. <laughs> Alright, we'll attack for four. I think he's far enough behind where I just win next turn. But I guess we'll find out. He still doesn't get the Lotus Bloom for another turn. Ad Nauseam is one of those fun decks that doesn't do anything for 20 minutes and then it's like, oh, by the way, I win. Okay, all right, got it. All right, so here is where Stony Silence comes into play, Reclamation Sage. Um, what else? Sigarda, 
seems pretty strong too. I don't know that there's much he can do about Sigarda if he's trying to lightning bolt, lightning strike me or lightning storm me out of existence. Um, also, Branch and Forge Tender will stop the lightning storm, won't it? Prevent all damage to Red Source would deal, yeah. Um, Eidolon of Rhetoric's good. We've got a lot against him. Try all that stuff. Rex and Revoker. Okay, so Spell Scut is fine. Cause Sully Pride Mage is fine. Scavenging Ooze can go. One of our Viziers can go. Um, Eidolon, Fiend Hunter. Sometimes they Laboratory Maniac. We might want that Fiend Hunter. We'll cut it. We're a game up. We can see what happens. We'll cut it. Um, Tireless Tracker is pretty bad with the Stony Silence. We're getting rid of that. And um, hmm. I feel like we want a selfless spirit. What does it ad nauseum play against us? All right, referring to the list here. MTG fish. Um, maybe the knights can go. Let's cut one knight and keep an eternal witness because we're gonna want to combo out against him. Alright. <laughs> Alright, looking at modern. Whenever I don't know much about the deck, I'll pull up the uh, list online and see what they're actually dealing with here. Of course, for Ad Nauseum, you have to go into the depths of tier 2. Ad Nauseum. Okay. 51 seconds to figure this out. Um, he's got Slaughter Pact, Leyline of Sanctity. Ooh, Leyline of Sanctity might kill me. Grave Titan, too. And this sideboard, wow. Alright, well, we gotta watch out for that Slaughter Pact. I think that's the biggest thing. That's why we're gonna want that Spell Guide still. Okay. Well, that's a hand. I like it. Ooh, visions. <laughs> uh, they play Graph Digger's Cage, too. Um, that's something to worry about. Good news is there was no Lotus Bloom. Exiled on turn one. <clears throat> okay. This guy got the push. Should be looking at how many of these things he's scrying to the top. That's probably worthwhile. Put a card on top, put a card on top. Temple of Deceit, put a card on top. It's all good for him, okay. Well, we can go off right now if he doesn't have the Pact. And even if he does have the Pact, we found out last time that that was still good. So let's try it. We're gonna put the green into play. And we need to add a mana first. And then we can cord. And by the pact, I guess I'm referring to either pact. But um, he would have had to do it then and there. Because now this is in play, it's happening. Journal witness? Yes. I feel like we're gonna get an Angel's Grace at, in, in this turn. And that's got split second, so that's that's bad news. Bad news bears. Um, collected Company. Yes, Frex and Revoker. Love that. Pentad Prism. 
Oh, <laughs> it's so good. All right. Yep, that, <laughs> that should do it. I didn't even consider that one. All right, are you going to concede? All right, there's still hope with factor negation, I suppose. But I don't know where he's going to find the mana for that. Uh, court of Calling for two. This is a very different game than the last match against Tron. As you saw, the last game against Tron, we did a lot like more of the value town plan and we didn't combo out. This one, we've consistently been able to combo on these early turns. I don't take eternal witness. You never know what you're going to need that for. Ah, oh, but uh, this is awfully miserable on Moto. Alright, back up Vizier. I think Ad Nauseam is a pretty good matchup for us given that it has to tap out. It, it looks and feels kind of like a control deck just based on the lands that they're playing and some of the spells that they run, but um, yeah, it does It does in fact tap out uh, it, to do things like Pent Dead Prism. And technically we're not tapped out because he can produce mana with it, um, but so he like they're they're in a position where they don't want to be using that artifact mana on removal spells because it just sets them back so far kind of one-time use things with their gemstone mine and pent dead prisms and lotus blooms and all that jazz all right i'm surprised he's not killing my stuff right now makes me nervous maybe he just needs to see the walking ballista there it is or he wants to just run my clock down Look at all these creatures with so many sickness. The only thing I haven't played this turn is this Dust Squad, uh, is this Devoted Druid, I should say. I wonder if there's a reason I should grab a Spell Sky before I go through all this. Sometimes I like to play it just for insurance, just against one of those oddball spells. I don't think that there's anything that I'm too worried about here with that. If he counters my dude, which he's certainly welcome to do, then I just play Eternal Witness and grab it again and do it again. Fortunately, that requires this whole process twice, <sighs> which is awful. But hey, I play the deck. If anyone does this against me, I certainly make them go through it. <laughs> because if their connection is even a little bit slow, it'll take seven minutes off their clock to do it. And then word to the wise. He's at 20 life, I only need 40 mana. But I'm gonna do 42 because I want an extra uh, plus one plus one counter on my Ballista in case he somehow would instant speed gain life with the creature. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Keep going, almost there. <sighs> All right, forty-two. <laughs> it's definitely not going to take me seventeen minutes to do this two more times if I need to, and I've got the eternal witnesses. Unless he's got a surgical extraction, then we're in trouble. One, two, three. How did that happen? Did I just, oh, I did one damage to myself. <laughs> um, all right, well, before I get, before that screws me over, I better add a counter to him. <sighs> Moto. <laughs> because then when I re remove the second last Connor, he dies. I wouldn't want that, would I? Uh, 
just to be safe. <laughs> I've got the time. Dad? Dad! All right! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, sorry for putting you through that. Um, you saw the, the explosive combo potential of the deck, though, so that was cool. Um, all right, thanks for watching. We're going on another one.